All right, so just got back from the post office. Um, my friend from Olympus kindly sent me a little package. We got the new Olympus Pen F. Uh, this thing looks so good. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of errands today and I've got a lot of work today around town. I'm just gonna bring this little camera around, shoot with it, um, see what I think about it. All right, let's get going. This camera is actually a descendant of the original Pen series 10D, which was actually a half frame 35mm. And it's just interesting to see what the Olympus Pen D have now become in the modern age. First when it comes to mind is that it looks like a film camera. And it's a big phase now, you know, for digital cameras to have this filmic retro looking camera. I noticed that the on and off button is on the side instead of the usual on the right. Um, it's kind of where the film winding used to be. The funny thing with the flippy screen is that if you turn it this way, it looks like a film back. The weird thing is that it's not the same material as everything else, so it kind of doesn't look like a film back, but that's kind of neat. You shoot around with this, just with the viewfinder, everyone thinks you got a film camera. The uh, most selected dials on the top here, you have the aperture dial here, you have the exposure composition dial, and you have the shutter speed dial, which all of which can be uh, customized. Definitely feels more like a Fuji S kind of camera with the rangefinder, um, color scheme. I don't know, it just reminds you of an X100, XE2 kind of uh, camera, I guess. One thing that the cam this camera boasts to other camera is actually this little art dial button thing. Changes between filters from normal art, monochrome color. Um, and then when you change it, you can actually change your curve settings as well. Develop your own S-curve within the camera. I really, really, really do think that's a neat um, mode in the camera. The one thing that I really, really, really noticed as soon as I handled this camera is that it's built so solid. Um, it's built really well. And it, you can't really see that many screws around. So these, it makes me think that it's a silver aluminum unibody, which is really, really well built. Um, it's actually really heavy though um, for a small little camera. It kind of almost feels like my Canon AE1. Uh, but it's nice to feel this metal around your hand. It's kind of almost, you know, brings you again back to the film camera days, not just, you know, everything now is a bit plasticky and everything. The, sh the, the big shame is that even though it's one silver unibody, it's not weather sealed. Um, the EF5 Mark II is weather sealed. This is not. Um, I get that this is not a professional camera, but when you're using this for street photography, you'd want this to last in the rain and whatever weather condition it can be thrown at. Um, that's a really bad thing, so Olympus should check that out. So this camera is mainly you know, developed for street photographers or travel photographers, but um, today we got two cars to shoot today, which is mine and my friend's car, so we'll see how it performs in car photography. I'm hoping that it you know, performs well um, compared to the Fuji as well. So um, yeah. We'll see you guys there. It has its built-in electronic viewfinder that's placed looking like a rangefinder. It also has a fully articulating LCD touchscreen. The one thing I like about the touchscreen is that you can change your autofocus points quite easily by just moving your fingers around the screen. It looks pretty good. There's a few issues, like the, the camera handles really well and I really love how it feels and it's heavy and it's solid like I said before. Um, the viewfinder, it's super super laggy and as I kind of go around, change the exposure and stuff, it's really really laggy, especially when you compare it to the Fuji's, the X-T1, the X-1 and the X-T2, whatever you want. Um, it's just not there yet. Uh, what else? Um, this knob, as nice as it is for the art and the filters and stuff, it gets in the way, like a really big knob in your finger. Sounds really bad. When I compare this to this Fuji, the only the only thing that I'm not really loving is the color. Um, and I, I've said it before to a lot of friends, and I'll say it again. I'm not a fan of Olympus color. I know you can 
edit it later on but I, there's something about the Fuji color is that's just amazing this is exactly the same as the EM5 just no weather sealing um, no mic input for the video which is really weird but the images are really nice that comes out no doubt about that uh, the this especially with this lens it's so sharp super duper sharp and the focusing is ridiculously fast uh, I guess that's something that you can expect out of a micro four thirds um, but Again, with this lens, even though the focus is fast, it's somehow like the monitor and the EVF is two, three millisecond just behind that focus. So the camera will beep that it's focused and then the picture will come focused. I'm not sure if it's this model or the whole Pen F in general, but should check that out. Um, but yeah, I keep shooting until the sun's down. <laughs> Pena produces amazing images with sharp quality and amazing control of highlights and shadows. From these shots on the car shoot, I was able to bring up the shadows in RAW quite easily without any loss of quality and also was able to recover the highlights quite easily as well to bring back a little bit of detail on the clouds. The camera also performs quite nicely on a high ISO considering that it's small sensor. You can't expect the camera to produce amazing quality at a very very high ISO but on some certain high ISO the images are acceptable. I really like how it shoots and I really like how it handles. It performs really well with the, the image quality that you get, it's so sharp and it handles highlights ridiculously well. Other than that, it, it's, it's, it's the kind of camera that you would love to have but maybe would not buy because of its price. So this is 1.8 body only. And if you compare that to what other cameras are sold at 1.8, the Canon 6D for example, the GH4 takes both great video and photo, uh, you get X100 3 straight away with the APS-C sensor. Uh, so this has a lot of contender and I don't think um, it can win among those kind of crowds. It can win among the Olympus crowd though. Um, I think this is the first camera ever that I like out of the Olympus because it does direct itself to enthusiasts and enthusiasts only. But yeah, I've enjoyed using this camera and I will try to take more photos and kind of get to know more. I am looking to buy a new camera as well, so I'm not really sure what I will choose just yet. Um, I'm really lo loving the way this thing looks and the way this thing feels in my hand. Um, and the images produced, I just don't know if I'm ready to go back to a micro four thirds for a travel camera. Um, I still love my APS-C sensor. Uh, so yeah, see you guys in the next vlog.